My name is Bo Williams. I am currently employed at Manifesto. Uh, and the name of my cocktail is La Prohibida. La Prohibida is a Spanish reference to the forbidden fruit in the Garden of Eden, which is oft debated uh, from anywhere from the quince to the apple, of course, and then uh, the fig, which plays a key role in my cocktail. We use, we start with the, uh, well, we as in the royal we. I guess I start with some uh, San Luis del Rio uh, Mezcal from uh, the Del Mague brand. Uh, a little bit of uh, amber agave nectar, some fig syrup and lime juice. Pretty simple, but pretty delicious. You know, I really started behind the bar in an illegal fashion. And I guess, I mean, if you really want to get back to it, I guess it's bartending one of my family members' weddings when I was like eight years old, you know, like slinging booze and stuff for a bunch of old folks. Uh, and I basically blame them for my plight today. Uh, but uh, I kind of ventured into uh, my first real uh, start behind a bar. Your bartender 101 knowledge would be, uh, I guess I was 17 or 18 years old and uh, is currently working at a country club. We had this huge 300 group, uh, 300 person wedding uh, that was uh, going on and one of the bartenders didn't show and they were in a bad way. They threw me behind the bar, completely illegal. Uh, kind of got the, this one guy, uh, Jeff, who kind of showed me the ropes, uh, just your basics of you know counting pours and all that sort of you know fast track bartending. Uh, and I fell in love with it, it was great. Uh, just something, I, there was a whole newfound respect for when I was standing behind that, that piece of wood than when I was you know, face to face with these people out on the floor. It was, it was a completely different aura and level to it that really intrigued me. And uh, yeah, it's kind of ruined my life, obviously. I'm still doing this, it's horrible. <laughs> the Iron Chef question, who would I like to challenge? Uh, I would like to take on Dave Wondrich. Enough said. You know, the contestants, um, it's tough to say uh, who exactly I'd want to take on in some sort of battle royale. Uh, possibly, I'd, I'd like to, I think maybe Chris. You know, Chris Canaster and I have a long history together. He kind of got his start behind the bar, JP Wine Bar, where I was uh, kind of uh, the, the head bartender type over there. Uh, and I was just intrigued with you know his level of commitment to what we were doing, and even taking it to a whole nother level. And I, <laughs> it's funny thinking back on scolding Chris for using all of our store and pours for 18 different syrups that he was using for Italian sodas that we started incorporating into cocktails, you know. And uh, and he uh, he really, uh, you know, I, I I give him a hard time a lot of times. Uh, but it, but it was it was good natured and, and really it's it's just been amazing to see I go, I go up to see him all the time at Justice Drugstore one of my favorite places to go to have a drink and I he blows me away every time so uh, I want you I want Chris not like that though. <laughs>